Hi guys and welcome to our review of the new, all new Lincoln Continental. The Continental name returns after a gap of 14 years and thank God for it. I was quite fed up of all these Lincoln MKs, this and that, I couldn't keep track of them. But this is an all new car, it's the flagship for Lincoln and it now comes with this new corporate grille. Now get used to this grille because you're going to see this on all Lincolns going forward. In fact, we've already seen this grille appear on the brand new Navigator that's just been shown at the New York Motor Show and they've even snuck it in on on a redesign of the Lincoln MKZ when nobody was looking. Smaller saloon than that, looks a bit like a Jaguar XF now with this grille. This is an amazing car, completely new, completely redesigned and it's got some fantastic features. Let's go on the walk around, I want to show you some more. So this is a big car, in fact some of you will probably remember the Lincoln Town Car from the 90s. Believe it or not, the wheelbase on this car is pretty much the same as that one. In fact, Lincoln mentioned rivals such as the Cadillac CT6, maybe even the Mercedes S-Class or the BMW 7 Series. I'm not sure about that, I actually think it's more of a rival of the Chrysler 300C, it's trying to usurp that car's gangster crown. It's got that real sort of aggressive look about it, that real sort of mean stance. And they've done lots of interesting things to hide the bulk and to put lots of detail features. For example, where is the keyhole on this car? Well, there isn't one. The keyhole actually is here in this badge arrangement there. there. You can see it right there. Now, why is the keyhole there? Because you don't need it most of the time. In fact, where are the door handles? The door handles are actually molded into this incredible chrome belt line front and rear and if you go up and if you go at this level you won't see it but if you go up you can see that the door handle is there and there's a little latch inside which you pull it's one piece so it doesn't actually move that's a nice touch also a nice touch is the wing mirror just look at this blade and there's a little plate there looking again at the car and looking at its aggressive uh, features for example this line here the way it tapers up here and then comes outwards over the shoulder gives it a bit of mask and a bulk at the uh, just over the rear wheels giving it sort of rear wheel drive look, although actually it's a front wheel drive and this particular car is an all wheel drive, but it does have that aggressive muscular stance. Coming to the back, it's got this sort of spoiler arrangement, aerodynamic arrangement built into the boot lid just above the iconic Lincoln badging there. These are LED lights, they look fantastic at night. They really, really stand out. It's got twin exhaust and the car does have a real presence, not only at the front, but at the rear as well capacious boot. I can either open it from a button here or in fact from the key fob which is quite a substantial key fob as you can see. Two clicks on there and the boot opens. It's a very very deep boot as you'd expect for a car like that. It goes way down there. There is a slot there for longer items like skis and stuff like that. A pocket here, a pocket there. Underneath there is a space saver uh, tire but that's pretty much it for the boot. This car is all about luxury and uh, comfort. And one of the key things about this car is riding in the back. Let's have a look at the rear compartment. Oh, look at this, look at this interior. You can't wait to get into this because look how much space I've got. This is full luxury executive. And look at all the features I've got. This seat, for example, I can actually recline this seat. So this seat itself goes up goes down so if I want to be more comfortable I can do that. Not only that if I want to be a bit cheeky and give myself a bit more room by moving that seat forward and even the backrest. We've also got massage seats. There's a little ashtray here. Why do you have ashtrays in cars anymore? Don't smoke. There's, this of course is a touch button. We looked at the door handles earlier. There are no levers inside so all the doors have a touch button in order to open the door. What happens if the battery runs out you ask? There's a little lever in the front driver's door. In here we have AC vents on each pillar with a little toggle as well. There's two AC vents down here, which is very handy, a little tray, and under here there's a compartment. The kids will be happy because there's two USB charging points in there, uh, plus a power supply and a three-point plug as well. Um, this thing here, this is not a two-seater, it is a three-seater. If I lift that up, you'll get full three seats across here. Very nice leather in here, by the way. And uh, from this console, you can do a lot. Uh, you can store stuff in it. For example, there's a nice little tray here, and there are two cup holders but this bit here is your infotainment system and you can operate your climate control through here and also the sync sound system and infotainment you even get your own little screen here and it shows you the sound uh, tracks and the, uh, the music that you want to listen to also on here you have a couple of buttons to operate for example the rear sun blind and these buttons here will operate the blind for the uh, double moon roof so very very comfortable loads and loads of room um, I should really get into the front, although I feel like sitting here for a while, but uh, I think it's time to have a look at the front of the car as well. 
Before I get in, I just want to show you the seat because it's incredible. The controls of the seat are here. Just watch the headrest. That moves forward and it moves up and down as well. Then you've got the upper backrest also moves. Isn't that amazing? And then you've got these two individual thigh cushions, just individual, and I can move those back and forth as well. That's like if one leg is longer than the other or something, I'm not so sure. Anyway, kind of cool. 30-way adjustability on this seat, incredible. Inside, this is proper luxury. I mean, just check out this wood treatment here, which is kind of like a tortoise shell effect on there. Fantastic uh, instrument panel, which of course is configurable as you get. It's a full digital panel, and you use the buttons here on the steering wheel. You can go through the traction control and all the settings from here. You can even change the display of the instrument panel. So if you don't like the, the gorges, the way, they, the way they're displaying, you just press OK. You can go into different types there. You can get your trip meter. You can also get a little display which shows you the all-wheel drive system on this car and whether the car is using the front wheels or all-wheel drive and I'll come back to that in a minute when we do the drive. Over here we have adaptive cruise control and even in traffic this works because it will bring the car to a complete halt and move off again when the traffic moves off. In addition to that we also have lane keep assist which on this car is very aggressive. In fact there are levels of intensity and I actually ended up actually turning that off and just leaving the alert on because it will really fight you to make sure you don't wander out of lane. There's a Remotes here for the sound system, obviously, uh, and voice control and all the rest of it. Indicator stocks here. There's a start button. On the door, we have, again, the touch button to open it. And this is that lever that I was telling you about in case the battery dies or whatever. You can use this lever to open the door. Over here, you have your big uh, center screen. Incidentally, you may have noticed no transmission button or lever or anything like that. And it's not on the steering wheel either. Where is it? It's here on the center console up here park reverse neutral drive and sport they're up here just next to the screen also on the screen you have a 360 degree camera in addition to the reverse camera which is very handy because the turning circle on this car is not great when you're trying to park it or maneuver car parks and stuff like that so that system really helps you in order to do that it also has park assist of course so you can actually use that to allow the car to help you park which uh, i don't really like to do i like to park the car myself in addition to all of the infotainment systems Systems that you get here and you can do uh, all of the usual things such as um, Apple CarPlay, oh, I nearly drove off there. Uh, uh, you have all the, the compass, the sat nav, the climate control, you can operate the front climate control and the rear climate control, you've got access to apps and all kinds of stuff on there. Uh, here you have the controls for the uh, climate control again and the stereo up here. Uh, you have heated and cool seats, so not only these seats can do the man wonderful manipulation but they can actually cool you and heat you up as well. In here you have a compartment, very deep compartment, quite good, quite useful for keeping your phone in and stuff like that. There's two USBs down here and a power supply. Here you have this nice slide back panel with a couple of cup holders or the optional Lincoln ashtray if you want. Don't smoke! And a nice little slot here, which actually I found is perfectly for an iPhone 6 Plus. And in here, obviously, you have a tray here and a deep cubby storage area, which is actually cooled. So you can keep your bottles of water there and it's nice and cool. I love this uh, finishing over here. It's very, very stylish. It really does give you an upmarket luxury feel in this car. And even the speaker surrounds are fantastic. They remind me of the Burmeister system that you find in the Mercedes S-Class. So very, very cool. Well, um, I think we should take it for a drive now. What do you reckon? Before we take it on a test drive, I want to do a big shout out to our sponsors today, AC Delco, who are sponsoring these reviews. Now, you may know them as the battery guys, but they do over 225 products, including, for example, wiper blades. And I'm sure they've got a set to fit your car. Do go and check them out. And thanks so much to AC Delco. Okay, so let's go for a little drive. This car is really a cruiser, so it's not really a sports car, so we're not gonna be hurling it around any corners. Now, one thing you're probably asking yourself at this point in the review is like, Shazad, what is it? What's under the bonnet? How much is it? Etc. Etc. Okay, so let's run through that first. Um, we'll start with a base model. Now, stay with me on this. The base model is a 3.7. 3.7 V6 naturally aspirated. And that starts from 199,000 dirhams, which is about $54,000. That car is about 315 horsepower. The next one up from that is actually the 2.7. I've just got to see a camel is in my way, so I'm just slowing down for that. It's one of the perils of driving in the desert is random camels crossing the road. 
Yeah, it happens all the time. So the next one up is the 2.7, and now we're getting into some very sophisticated engines. The 2.7 is a V6 twin turbo, and that's priced from 265,000 dirhams, which is $72,000. It's 345 brake horsepower, and a whole 100 extra pounds foot of torque at 380 pounds foot of torque. Now, this car, obviously, is the top of the range car. It starts at 300,000 dirhams, which is $82,000, and under the bonnet is a new 3-liter V6 a twin turbo. Now, a little bit of contention with that one, because internationally, when I looked online, it says it's got 400 horsepower, but all the spec that I've been given for the Middle East and on their website says 378 brake horsepower. So I don't know if it's been slightly detuned there, but the torque figure is about the same at 400 pounds foot of torque. Acceleration is quoted as zero to 100 in about 5.6 seconds. So I reckon you're still looking at under six seconds for that zero to 100 time. Like I said, the price for that is 300,000 dirhams. This car here actually is one step above that, uh, mainly because it's got this incredible incredible 19 speaker uh, Revel Ultimate audio system and it does sound magnificent it sounds absolutely fantastic but it's a whole 25,000 dirham extra to get to this car so enough of that how does it actually drive well the three liter v6 uh, twin turbo comes as an all-wheel drive so this is an all-wheel drive and there's a little uh, display on the instrument panel that tells you which wheels are doing the work and it also has torque vectoring now you can hear the engine growl a little bit there it's quite subdued as you would expect in a luxury car like that but you do have for example here a sports mode uh, in the instrument in the transmission which is a six-speed transmission, by the way. Um, and with the sports mode, it changes the damper setup and it changes the response of the transmission. This car is very quick. If I put my foot down here, very good response in sports mode. You can hear the engine growling and you do get that punch uh, of acceleration. The turbo takes a while to spool up, but once it's there, it goes. It's very, very quick. This car is not lacking for speed whatsoever. It's not lacking for handling either, because the grip is fantastic. It, like I said, it's got the all-wheel drive, and the all-wheel drive actually has torque vectoring. So as you're going around the corner, you will find that if it's loading up on one side, it'll uh, send power to the inside rear wheel and, and get it around that corner. So that really, really helps. How is the ride? Fantastic. Around town, as you'd expect now. Again, in this one, you can hear a bit more bump thump because it's in that sports setting. Now, if I put it back into the drive setting, by the way, it does have paddle shifts, but I really don't know why you would use them in this car. I've tried them. Uh, the gearbox does a fine job on its own. The six-speed is, is, is perfectly okay. The ride is very, very smooth around town. Uh, on the motorways, it's also very smooth. Not very floaty. The body control is very good, quite firm. The only thing I would say is that sometimes at speed, it does take a, make a little bit of a meal out of some bumps so it gets a little bit clumpy when it kind of really picks up uh, the bumps but other than that it's actually very very good we're going over a couple of speed bumps now and this is in comfort mode and it's very very smooth Steering response is pretty good. Like I said, it's got a very aggressive uh, lane keep assist uh, system, but once you turn that off, it's pretty faithful. Obviously, there's a bit of understeer because as any big front wheel, or front wheel drive or all wheel drive car, you do get understeer, and this one is like that as well. So overall, this is a great high speed cruiser. I've done a lot of kilometers in this car, and it is uh, absolutely sublime to just cruise around in very comfortable, very quiet, very refined, very smooth. I think they've hit the nail on the head with this car. They're trying to go for a luxury upmarket large executive express and that's exactly what you got here uh, you don't feel a want for performance the three liter v6 has got plenty of poke i don't think you really need any more and i suspect the 2.7 is probably good enough as well so overall, what do we think? Actually, we really like it. I think it's a really good car. I think it's a really good alternative to a big uh, executive saloon that's got a lot of personality and a lot of character. I think that's the key selling points on this car is that it's got style, it's got presence, and it's got a very, very nice interior. Do go down and check it out. Those prices, by the way, are coming with a service pack included in the UAE. So, you know, go there, get yourself a great deal, and let us know how you get on with the car. So thanks so much for watching this Motoring Middle East review powered by AC Delco. Uh, sponsors for these reviews. Uh, do please follow us on all the social media on Facebook, Instagram and Twitter. Just search for Motoring Middle East and the same goes for YouTube. And if you are on YouTube, please do hit that subscribe button. Thanks so much for watching. Until the next one.